The technology that we've developed is actually doesn't require dedicated carrying technology. It could be in your purse, your side bag. But personally, I like to just carry it on me. Mavic Pro. We have completely redesigned our drone technology so that you can capture your moments of inspiration whenever it strikes, wherever you go. We have completely changed our drone technology to make it as portable as possible. So you can fit it in almost any bag. Just put it in your bag, go and create. When we were designing the Mavic Pro. We wanted to make it as space efficient as possible. So we actually designed it to be about one third the size of a piece of paper and about the size and weight of something that you carry with you every day, like a bottle of water. So this is an extremely portable device. And actually, this little carrying case I have is designed for a bottle of water. So it was very handy. But just because we've shrunk the technology doesn't mean that we've left out all of the standards that DJI really believes is necessary for a great flight experience. That includes 27 minutes, up to 27 minutes of battery life. So you can capture your image while you're in the sky, get multiple shots. That includes additional sensors that provide intelligence while it's flying, so you can just focus on image creation. And so we have five cameras operating together to provide a powerful vision system that's telling Mavic Pro where it is in the world. We also have redundant sensors so that IMU GPS have redundancy to provide even more reliability in flight. And of course, we can't forget the camera. It has a 4K, 12 megapixel, three axis stabilized camera on board, so you get amazing shots. Now, all of this is powered by 24 computing cores that are operating in tandem to make an intelligent and effortless flight experience. Do you want to see how easy it is to get up in the air? Yeah. All right. So before I get it up in the air, I need a remote control. So actually, it's actually not in there either. It's right here in my back pocket. This is our smallest remote control device that we've ever created. We took design cues from mobile gaming devices to make sure that the profile is not only small, but intuitive. So it's easy to use, easy to get up in the air, and effortless to great, take great shots. Now you can also expand it to include a, a mobile device and use our new OcuSync technology to pull down up to a 1080p signal from a communication distance of up to seven kilometers. So you'll be able to get a great live preview of your shot in very difficult RC environments. So I've got my transmitter, I've got my drone. Now I'm just gonna set it up to fly. As you can see, it just takes a few seconds to get it ready for flight. It's a small footprint, ready to go. So I'm gonna set it down and get ready to get up in the air, but I'm only gonna be flying a short distance and uh, I, I'm just gonna take a pretty simple shot. So I'm actually just going to control the entire thing using my smartphone. Using our new integrated Wi-Fi between Mavic and DJI Go, we have a simple an intuitive user interface that allows you to take those short instant pictures at short ranges. So I can effortlessly just get up in the air and get the shot that I want. So I'm simply going to tap to take off. And I'm going to get a little bit of altitude, fly a little away from me and angle the shot. So while it's doing this, I, I want to get a shot, but at the same time, I don't really want to talk to you, angle the shot, and control the, camera, the drone at the same time. So I'm actually going to enter into the simplest 
user interface for aerial photography that's ever been created. It's called gesture control. So I'm just going to signal to Mavic to start following me. And as you can see, as I move around on stage, it's tracking me. So easy way to control the drone, but more importantly, it takes great pictures. One of the things I find so frustrating is I'm out in the world taking these great shots of me and my friends, but I'm always holding this giant transmitter or looking down at my phone. It doesn't feel spontaneous. It doesn't feel like how I experience the world. So now I simply go like this, and Mavic instantly recognizes that I want to take a picture. I don't know what to do with my hands anymore. So <laughs> and it instantly takes a selfie after three seconds. So now I can exit gesture mode, tap to land. I have a great picture of myself that I can share to Facebook instantly. It's really that simple. So I, earlier I talked about the 24 computing cores on board Mavic, and that might sound intimidating or hard to use, but actually the intelligence on board is powering a lot of technology that makes the entire flight experience effortless. That means that not only can you use things like gesture control, but at any given moment, Mavic knows where it is, where it came from, and where it's going. Mavic Pro sees the world in 3D. It senses the obstacles around it so that it can intelligently navigate around them while flying in some of its intelligent flight modes. Or if I'm flying towards something, it will automatically stop and hover before it collides with an object. It also uses GPS, GLONASS, and visual positioning sensors to provide stable flight outdoors in windy conditions or in GPS-denied environments like this. Those two technologies, GPS and visual positioning, also power its knowledge of where it came from. Every time the Mavic takes off, it records its GPS location and a short video of the ground that it took off from. And as it does that, whenever you tell it to return home or the battery gets low or the connection signal breaks, it will fly back to the point that it launched from and match the video that it recorded to the ground underneath it. So you get centimeter precise landing capabilities. That also helps it avoid obstacles while landing, like water. So you get a stable, reliable flight experience. And likewise, Mavic knows where it's, knows where it's going. Our users use our technology out in the world, so they're climbing mountains and they're going over a wide variety of terrains. But you want to make sure that throughout those terrains, Mavic knows its relative altitude. And it does that with our new terrain following system. So it knows when you're going up a mountain to stay 10 feet off the ground, even as the altitude climbs. It's a simple and intuitive device that provides a great flying experience. Now, all of that intelligence on board isn't just powering the reliability of the platform, but it's also enabling greater creative freedom in the shots that you take. One of the first things that people want to do when they get a drone is to film themselves or their friends out doing something amazing, tracking or running across country, you know, fly, on a boat, driving in a car, anything exciting, because that's what's really cool about drone technology is it enables you to go and see it anywhere. But a lot of those shots were very hard to do a long time ago. But with our active track following feature, all of those shots are as simple as tapping on your screen. With our active track system, you literally tap on the subject you want to film, and our deep learning algorithm recognizes cars, bikes, boats, pets, and will automatically start following them, keeping them perfectly aligned in the shot. And this isn't just about a GPS system blindly following a subject. It's actually using computer vision to track the subject and keep it perfectly framed in the shot, so you get a beautiful image. With the Mavic Pro, we're introducing even more versatility into the active track function, so you can get a wider variety of shots while you're up in the air. 
That includes trace, which follows directly behind the subject. And our new profile mode that tracks alongside the subject, getting a really dramatic shot. Circle, which orbits around the subject even while it's moving. And then my favorite, spotlight, which keeps the camera trained on the subject no matter what direction you fly. So you can get some really interesting creative images. Now, here's the Mavic Pro using Active Track out in the real world. We're going to use Trace here to follow the skateboarder. And as it does so, it's flying forward and it's using its optical avoidance cameras to intelligently navigate around the poles and trees and anything else that might get in, in the way of the shot. So there's a lot of power on board, but a lot of simplicity, so you can just focus on getting the right image. So that's the Mavic Pro in motion, but sometimes you need a lot more precision in the control of your drone. So that's why we've introduced tripod mode. Tripod mode decreases the maximum speed and reduces stick control so that you can precisely frame your shot or navigate in tight areas. Sometimes having that stillness allows you to get a lot more smooth movements in your video or a lot more precision in the photos that you take. It's a simple but very intuitive way to be creative with your drone. So those are some of the key features of the Mavic Pro, but when we're talking about creativity and innovation, it doesn't start and end with image making. A lot of us, and many of you that I recognize here in the crowd, got first excited about drone technology because it's so fun to fly. What an exhilarating feeling to get up in the air and get a drone up in, to speed. And that's part of the excitement around the drone racing industry is that there's something really re remarkable about it. We want to share that feeling with people because a lot of us, you know, that, that feeling of the joy of flight is really driving a lot of the innovation in the drone space. So with the Mavic Pro, I'm excited to share that we're including sports mode. Let's take a look. It is so much fun to fly. <laughs> and with sports mode, the system can reach up to 40.6 miles per hour, and yet at the same time have a lot of sensitivity in the control so that you can turn on a dime. It turns off the obstacle avoidance sensors so it can get a, a faster speed and its angle. But at the same time, it's still using GPS, GLONASS, and visual positioning sensors, so you can let go of the controls, and the system will simply hover. This allows you to really get that immersive flight feeling. But if you're going to fly, we want you to really feel the experience of flying. 